This playthrough is rated T for teen. ああ、今行くよ。ちょっと待っててくれ。神山、もうすぐ世界歌劇団公演が始まるわよ。ああ、いよいよだな。平和の祭典、最大の目玉。その特別公演だ。こうしてまた世界中のみんなが集まって一
I guess I decided to save the vocals for, for the ending now, so probably a little dialogue for me for, for most of the stuff anyway, but that's fine. So, All right, let's see how our childhood friend's doing. Sorry I didn't choose you as vice captain, even though the game clearly wants you to be the vice captain, like, super hard. Like, it, it's, it's annoying, actually. Like...昨日初穂と一緒に銀座に行ってきたんです。被害が残っているところもまだたくさんありましたけど。でもみんな笑顔で活気にあふれていて、これなら大丈夫だって安心しました。改めて思います。みんなは生徒を守ることができてよかったって
leave the ending to the, the person you chose, but still. Yeah, it's Yui and uh, Shaylong. Oh, you didn't give them voices, but you gave all the girls voices? All right. Sakura really did great out there, huh? Oh, and you too, Kamiyama. Oh, I bet I bet if I got their heart event, I bet I would have they would have had a, a voice dialogue, I bet. Cuz yeah, every these guys have a have a thing on stage. How do I know that? No reason. You're a good guy. I'm man enough to admit that. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, this is what happens when you choose neutral paths and try to Although with side characters it is possible to miss a with the main girls, from what I understand, it seems like unless you tr unless you're truly trying to screw up like I was purposely doing, um, uh, you might just might most likely get max trust with quite a good deal of them. Uh, side characters, not so much, uh, from what I've noticed. Uh, you could easily miss out on some trust stuff to to unlock them. But like I said, all it shows is just extra dialogue for them at the end of the game. I'm just kind of uh, uh, okay. Arthur lights let out of their own. Thing. I don't know why I wasn't running to talk to them. I was running around. But yeah, that, since I don't have a heart event, they don't get any extra dialogue. Congratulations, Kamiyama. To be honest, you surpassed all my expectations. Hmm. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Let me make sure. Uh. Okay. I was just double. I was trying to remember where the bromide is. Let me talk to Lancelot before we look for that, though. Nice work. You got a lot of grit, Kamiyama. But yeah, it's kind of, it's almost kind of like, if you don't get their trust and that's all they say to you, it's kind of like, oh, that's all you say at the end of the game? That's kind of disappointing. It's like, well, it's because I didn't earn enough trust with them because I just chose neutral, neutral, quiet responses. So, it's supposed to be, crap, now I have to, that was supposed to be like up the front here. Oh, there it is. It was like, it's got to be somewhere. I thought, I could swear. Uh, Sakura Shiguji, Fall in Love Maidens. A snapshot in Sakura Ogami's daily life. I really wanted to see you. That's the, uh, uh, from, well, it says canon, but in this game, because of what happens to all the characters, you don't really know if, 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 uh, Ogami chose her or Sumir, which, uh, from what I understand, Sumir was basically the best, kind of like the Hatsu in Sakura of this game. Sumir was, like, the best friend of Sakura in that game, but... Uh, I guess the way they, they wrote the story, they try not to break people's canon because you could possibly, if I understand it correctly, you could chose any one of the girls to have their ending. And so they didn't want to break people's canon, so they never straight out say who who ends up with them. It could have been Samir, for all we know, but she doesn't mention it, so I don't know. ちゃんと神山さんのブロマイドも揃ってるよ。え、そんなものまで。一体いつの間に今や神山さんは花組を率いて帝都を救った英雄さんですから。このブロマイドも売れに売れて帝都中に神山さんの顔が広まるわけです
そろそろ次のステージへ進む頃合いやなあての売店技術の全てを叩き込んだるわ叩き込むもしかして今からですかおろしに仕入れついでに小町流交渉術全部覚えてもらうからなムサ勉強させてもらいますおう素直な神山さんは大好きやで I guess, that, I guess that was her theme song. 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 Oh, well, the, um, you know, you're, you're, you're nice and all and everything like that, but I've kind of got a hot Greek goddess waiting for me. Well, we need a captain, sure, that might be fun. Are you proposing? Yeah, no, dude. Greek goddess beats the uh, merchant girl any day. Yeah. さんと一緒だったら何をやっても楽しいだろうなと思いました。何よ、神山さん。もしかして宛てのこと届いたのか？え、そそういうわけじゃ。よっしゃ、みんなにいいふらしたろ。いや、いいやろ。すみません、勘
あの時サクラをかばってくれてありがとう。But I don't think he, I don't think he was a bad guy for that. I mean, yeah, maybe he was a little bit too too swift in that decision, but he thought that was the only way. So, and of course, anime style, we somehow figure a way how we don't have to do it. You know.、Um, oh yeah, I gotta remember if I'm missing any other uh, uh, bromides in my notes.、Um, Oh, yes,、uh, Samir has one.、Um, I had to remember. Well, let's take it to Tata Kiaru and see if, see if she's got any dialogue. Yeah, she's another one you can have a、um, trust with too, get a, a special event outside of this. Thank <laughs> 日頃の苦労が報われますねど,どうかしましたか神山さん私はあなたに本当に感謝しています神山さんが来てから兵撃がとても活気に満ちているように感じます今やあなたは帝国歌劇団になくてはならない人これからもどうぞよろしくお願いしますYeah, sorry, Kiaro. Too bad you're not much of a presence in the story or, or being a love interest, but oh well. I like girls with glasses, so. Yeah, that's nice to be. It's nice someone doesn't like, try to hit me or make fun of me or anything like that. Not that anyone really did it. You know, they only do that if you make poor decisions. I am a, an elected official, so that happens quite regularly. No, I'm not an elected official. Just Hi. Joking. Yeah, let's talk to Samir.、Um, she. Oh, oh, they actually, he has actually a different dialogue. Now the world is no longer in peril. Samir could stand to take some time off. Maybe what deserves it's her. I didn't even really think about maybe checking all the random stuff. I may save that for later,、uh, now that I think about it. There should be. Am I? Maybe that might be from a different thing. She is. Nope, that's the same. Oh, there it is. Yeah, secret, brom secret bromide. Oh, there's Samir's、uh, bromide when she, depending on which universe、uh, this is.、Uh, SO4 of Samir Kanazaki, Fallen Love Maidens. The snapshot of Samir and Oga Ogami's daily life. If not for me, then who else would worry about you? Yeah, did she. Was she. Uh, uh, wait, yeah. Who's that with、uh, Samir? Yeah, in your head canon viewers, did Samir end up with Ogami? I don't know. I never played or watched or read the manga or whatever that's based off of, so I don't know. For me, I don't, I don't care either way. But... 本当に今回の戦いはいろいろなことがありましたわね。感謝していますわ、神山くん。私たちの家、帝都を守ってくれてありがとう。すみれさんこちらこそお礼を言わせてくださいすみれさんが時に優しく時に厳しく俺たちを見守ってくれたからここまで来られました本当にありがとうございました<笑>とても立派な隊長になりましたわねありがとうございますこれからも粉骨最新で頑張りますええこれからも花組隊長として帝都をしっかり守ってちょうだい、yep. Thanks for making me captain and making me heads of all these lovely ladies あなたのおかげよ神山くんこれからも花組隊長として帝都をしっかり守ってちょうだい And shortly thereafter, he quits the review because he just wants to. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny, though.、Um, yeah, Samir also has a、um, uh, possibility for, for having high trust with her as well. Having two main characters lust after Samir. There you go. No.、Um, yeah, like I said, I'm not, I'm not familiar with which game the Maidens of Love is from. It, It's got to be from an older. Well, I don't know how, how old the Soccer Wars franchise is, so I don't know. It could have been any, anything as old as, like, Famicom, for all I know, or PlayStation. So, 
Or PC Engine. Well done, sir. Well done, Sejo Kamiyama. Yep, that's all they got to really say since we don't have a trust event with them, so. Yes, you did well to succeed. Yep, that's it. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of almost just kind of like anticlimactic. You know, it's just kind of like, oh, that's it? So, yeah, it makes you want to try to see what their trust event is. Um, let's see, yeah, Reggie has an event, and but we'll do that. We'll go down there. See, no one's in the... Yeah, no one's in there. No one's in the dressing room. So let's talk to Hiromi. I'm not even sure how I got her trust. I guess I just got lucky with her her events to get her trust unlocked. I know you don't have to find every trust. From what I understand, you don't have to hit every trust icon to get it. You just have to hit a good deal of them, though. Like, you know, like 9 out of 10, that type of thing. Or maybe 8 out of 10, I don't know. But still, you have to hit a lot of them. Kamiyama-san, もしかしてまたお和菓子の試食ですかピンポー正解です神山さん新作のお饅頭を作ってきたんですよ今回は超自信作ですよ神山さんのために一生懸命作りましたありがとうございますそれじゃありがたくいただきますえどうぞ<
the way you have to do the uh, to play um, you'll have to play all the battle bots to get all the all the things um, there's actually a way to like save you time from to do instead of having to do them all back to back what you do is just replay if you've un uh, done the endings with the girls just play those and then just get their rank so that way you don't have to just do on one file do them all just to wait to new game plus and do the all the extra stuff on there oh perhaps i should have waited to save that till after i beat the game or after i finished it oh well whatever um i'll talk about that more later but yeah you can still do the battle bot stuff so this is probably the best chance to just uh um do the rest of your um, bromide grinding and stuff like that so uh, okay let's talk to reggie and get his little テタテ。ちょっと懐かしいものを見つけたんだ。ああ、これは漁師船闘技実習の写真。懐かしいな。二人で失敗ばっかりしてたっけ。本当思ったように動かなくてな。そして俺は霊力がないことがわかり。<
花組を解散から救うことはできなかったアナスタシアが守ったんだよ花組を俺たちみんなの家帝国歌劇団を神山これからもこの家を守ってくれ約束してくれるかい約束する約束するわ神山<笑>いい話じゃねえかだけどよ泣いてる場合じゃない今日の開会式は私たちが主役そうです涙よりも笑顔で向かいましょう花組みんなで世界の希望になるために<笑>そうねでもその前に神山いつもみたいに号令を頼めるかしら<笑>分かったよそうみんな One final time? One final hurrah? The loudest ever? No. Of course not. I'm not going to do that. No. No. Quiet. It's theater. デートに平和が戻りましたいろいろなことがありました歌劇団解散の危機夜者とのことこれらすべてを乗り越えられたのは奇跡なのかもしれません戦いの舞台となった歌劇団大戦は平和の祭典として再開されることになりました世界中の人々が熱狂し喜び合う絆の競技会さあ今、その幕が上がります Well, there you go, folks. I'm just gonna talk through the credits here. I probably should let it run, but, uh, you know, I'm gonna probably get hit with the thing anyway, but... Well, that's the end of the game. Everyone's all happy, the world's at peace. Though the old heroes of... The heroes of old have been shunted aside and disappeared in the Shadow Realm. Life goes on without them, so they kinda suck in their own right, so... Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, that does kind of suck. I do feel bad in the game for the fans of the old other characters from the other franchises. It's, it's almost like they were kind of kicked out of the world without... I mean, they had fanfare. They saved the world, but... Well, like I said, I don't know if there was a story or a game or a drama or anything like that based off the events of it. It just... If that's not the case, it just happens behind the scenes, so... Which, I guess... I don't know. I just feel like if you're a fan of those old characters, the fact that what happened to them is kind of a blow... Uh, for them. Um, that's not the biggest hit. I just feel like that happens a lot with games that try to introduce new characters or new blood is that they they almost... It doesn't happen all the time, but a lot of people do, do it by accident. They kind of almost like shunt or reduce the, the contri contributions of the old guard just to make way for the new one when that's not how you do it. You're supposed to like show respect. Now, I'm not saying this game did that. I'm just saying that that's what that happened. But, uh, um... Well, let me talk about it. One, I like the music of this game. Um, there's a lot of good, nice little tracks. The ending song is quite nice. I like how each of the major reviews have their own song, and it seems, um, I don't know if I'd say they're super memorable, but there's some, something, you know, they have chorus and all this other stuff that kind of represents their nation. Uh, I like the, like, the sad theme, and I like the kind of the, where, the heartfelt theme where you're, where you're getting to know the, one of the girls, you know, that theme that plays. Um, the story, I'm trying to think. It's okay. It's basically anime fair. I think it's the way to, to, to go with it. Um, it's definitely different from the other 
other stories. Um, except I, I never played the first one, so I have no idea. The one with uh, Sakura Shiguji in it, so I don't know how that story goes. I assume it has something to do with demons and stuff like that. And I'll admit with So On My Love, the, the Wii or PS2 version, I have the PS2 version, which I'm surprised I actually bought that, despite the fact that I only played it through once to get one of the girls' endings, I didn't replay it again to get the rest of them. Uh, I think it's just because it was at that time where I was slowly stopped collecting games, and I was still quite doing it in the PS2 era, but after that I kind of stopped or slowed down after that period. But, uh, um, but you know, the whole the tournament being falsified by the demon to weaken the power of everyone else um, wasn't a bad little, little thing. Um, the main problem I have with the story is that, not that Sakura, you know, Amamiya shouldn't have been a main, the main heroine, but I feel like with a game where you can choose at the end of the game who, like, your main interest is, it almost invalidates all their, the fact that you can choose them. That it's almost like, no, you have to choose, you should choose Sakura because she's the main character. You know, like, I don't know. I feel like they should have changed the ending, the final chapter of the game, to indicate that your choice was important that maybe uh, Anastasia did something to with the sword, or maybe she did something to get the sword away, or something like that, that she was important. That then Sakura did what she did, you know, that type of thing. And I'm not saying it ruins the game or anything like that. I feel like if you're you're gonna give the character a choice of that character and you work towards that, then that should be paramount. Because I think that happens at the, the previous games too, where when you choose them, the ending centers around them. Like, and so on my love, from what I remember, uh, even though Gemini's kind of the main girl, um, I chose uh, uh, Sharon when I played, because, you know, uh, tall, tall, dark, you know, uh, Amazonian girl. Um, uh, it focused, I mean, she was mainly the focus of it, like, because of that choice, you know, in her ending. The girls were still there, and they helped, but it was because I made that choice. But yeah, that was kind of cut out for this to make it more cinematic, you know. Um, I think I, I think I still like the game, I think, but I don't know if I love it at all, and I don't know if I'd ever, like, outside of this, you know, would I own it or keep it or anything like that, you know, it's, it's one of those tough decisions, because it's basically like, almost like, you know, kind of like a visual novel almost, with just the action scenes, the action scenes are what drive it apart. I probably should be quiet during this part, but yeah, there's probably plenty of videos online that show the ending anyway. Um, but, although Anastasia looks, looks quite hot in her outfit. Oh, uh, sorry. That's true. Um, she's she's that character that's supposed to show herself off all the time, you know? Like, it'll, it's, like none of the girls are showing her cleavage except, well, Hatsuho, but she's the one who's showing her cleavage the most, so she's that type of character. Uh, who shows off her sex appeal, with nothing wrong with that. Um, but, yeah, I don't know if I'd remember this game later on, because like I said, with some of the limitations of it and all that, but that might be a personal thing. I mean, this is probably more a game for those who like the Soccer Wars series, the franchise overall probably appeals to them more, so they probably love this franchise because of, because uh, one of the big things about this game was they gave a lot more characterization to the the main hero because like i don't i almost remember nothing about the hero from so on my love he was so pasty vanilla um but here we actually get a lot of the personality of kamiyama like i said i talked in a previous episode how oh i'll be quiet for this part That was a nice little ending um, with uh, with her. Um, 
Yeah, she's best girl. Uh, but yeah, like Kamiyama has a bit more of a personality because you know he he will stare blindly if he can't think of anything properly. He's a little pervy and all this other stuff, so he's a bit more personality. So I'll give the game that. It definitely has a lot of benefits, you know, for what it is. But and it, I guess it technically has the replay value of. Um, uh, obviously do new game plus getting all the endings and all those stuff but that's pretty much it anything outside of that is a uh, is a uh, which if you do your if you play your cards right you could get the uh, um, you could get the um, endings uh, all the endings in one go if you know what you're doing um, I just wanted to show you like the koi koi stuff I did some of the stuff off screen um, yeah Sumir if you beat her she unlocks someone um Elise unlocks someone, so forth and so on. You have to pay if if you unlock someone outside of beating a character, you have to pay for it, and that's what the mon is there for. Um, but uh, I, I just wanted to show that off really quick. But yeah, if you start a new game plus, it saves like it saves like the battle bot information. Uh, it also saves your trust levels, so it makes it easier to, for some reason, if you couldn't get miss a lot of trust points, or if you just want to play however you want to, like being a dick or whatever. Um, if any trust you did earn, it would carry that over, so it'd be easier to get the endings unlocked the, the second time around, for example. Um, and it saves the battle bot information, so when you get to chapter 3, when battle bot gets unlocked, you can play all those if you want to, if you didn't do it the first time, or whatever, you can play them all there. Um, it also saves your bromides, so if you missed a bromide, you'll still have the ones unlocked, but then this will give you a chance to go through and get the rest of the bromides, so... But anyway, that was uh, that was Soccer Wars with the Anastasia ending, which is the best ending. Um, obviously, there's more endings to go, and I'll save all that for bonus content. I don't know if I'm going to make it one video or if I make e each ending a video, because all that's different is really the beginning of the chapter when you talk to them, and then the that ending part, and then the final movie bit at the end. Um, there is some conversation difference during the final battle because they're with you in the group, uh, but I don't think it's necessary to show that stuff. But I'll save that all for later. But for this video here, for my feelings on it, um, it's definitely made for the fans of this series. As a newcomer or one or one like myself who's casual into it, I probably wouldn't buy this one because, like I said, I don't, I don't buy games as much as I used to. And it 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 doesn't hit just that right thing that I, I would want to keep as part of my collection. But if you're a fan of the series, I think it's still I think it still hits those notes that's important for you. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely not one for uh, one who's a casual player of these or actually a casual gamer probably wouldn't even play this game period let alone anything else so but anyway it's definitely i think it's a i think it's a decent game i would if i had to give it a score because it, it's solidly competent in a lot of places and it does what it needs to do so i'd probably give it like a seven out of ten or eight out of ten or something like that for what it needs to do so but anyway i'll leave it right here and i want to thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time when the mail comes in